Hello everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to the game Off. Off is a French RPG maker game that is, well, quite well known over there, and it's been translated, uh, I think about a year or two ago. I really have no idea about the plot. All I know is the kind of artistic design reminds me a bit of Earthbound. But every description I've found of this game is a bit vague, and I just say that's very surreal, like Yubaneki or something. So I'm pretty much going in and not knowing what's going to happen. And I also, this is in contrast to some of the other games I've played that were made in RPG Maker. This is actually an RPG with turn-based battles and stuff. It's not just simply using the RPG Maker format and have you run around getting instant killed. So, it seems very interesting and, well, I'm looking forward to this one. Unprotective fun time. The best kind. Hmm. I suppose we'll just pick a simple name. I usually pick something a little more creative, but I really don't know how they're going to use my name in this. Your name is Manly, correct? Well, I guess it is. Based on the opening dialogue, I'm already wondering if this is some kind of virtual reality. Like perhaps a test of some kind. And you start the game on some phallic imagery. Like, usually these games are some kind of representation of afterlife or something, I don't know yet. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try some kind of new voice, and we'll see if it works out. There could not be any other living beings in Zone Zero, so I must assume that you are only a mere figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the Judge. And I am making to know your name, dear Lujoy Interlocutor. I'm the Batter. I've been assigned to a secret mission. It is a pleasure. However, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? His name is Manly. He can't talk to us. However, he can hear and see everything. Even though you two are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear family. I believe we are in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against our legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. Well, what sort of service can I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide for this area, if it is any help to you. Thanks. A little, a little fake accent there. Hm. 
quite peculiar. Oh. I did read that this guy is basically the Cheshire Cat, and he did have some kind of British accent in the description, so that's why I'm attempting a fake one anyway. You'll probably notice my voice will kind of change over time as I get used to it. So I apologize for that. Allow me to confess, and I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. Might you in fact be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So I've been mistaken from the beginning. You did not even interrupt me in my deluded phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say. For you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this loo. I had in fact concluded that Throne Zero was an empty land. Obviously, I was misled. However, there exists other zones, and in those territories, the risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? Curious words, purification and process. Sometimes I'll try that auto function and see if it actually kills him. Whoopsie, not the right one. There we go. Luck ticket. Impeccable. Your mastery of the battle borders on brilliancy, my friend. But there's one thing we have not yet addressed. I am, of course, talking about carpenters. They are generally, in layman's terms, special moves. They can trigger surprising effects. They may induce a resurgence of health points, or may be not end with themselves powerful attacks. Nevertheless, no less. Any use of accommodances leads to a consumption of contents points CP. So I ask that you use these skills sparingly. Once your CP are completely consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent before being able to get some more CP, victory will be uncertain. But try right away. Choose competence and try using the wide angle, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. <laughs> now, you now know not only about me, but also the art of combat. Also, about the wide angle. Know that it analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus, it may be accidentally and analyze adversaries you've already knocked out for a long time. The confrontation ends, theoretically, when all health points of your team or all your opponents fall to zero. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in purification. From now on, You'll be ready to cross all impure obstacles and get in your luminous mission's way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing bad blows to an innocent cat. Be as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. 
Let me ask you to follow me, if you still want me as your guide. I must go back to my home planet now. Ah oh, yes, to pass through here, you need to use your cerebral organ. You know, the one bathing flabbily in your tired cranium. I believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols you can see on the wall. In some one, in some way or another. A box. This cat kind of reminds me of that one evil cat from her form, Jim, in character design. <laughs> Finally, after all that exertion, the eagerly awaited recompense makes an entrance to a scene. Um, nom, 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 nom. Uh, thank you, my loot. A piece of silver flesh. I think there's not going to be much grinding in this game, and that the RPG mechanics are just kind of there for like a vehicle, if you know what I mean. Here's an accessory that is going to be especially helpful on your purifying quest, dear enlightened student and sportive friend. It is a cube, humming in midair, as you have likely noticed. Nevertheless, you'll be able to differentiate it from similar ones. By contrast of bad taste, it imposes on your view of its clashing color, defying any sensible course of plastic arts. However, do not judge it too quickly, because despite its criticizable appearance, this red cube is of an undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entirety of your health and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness the nothingness is a lure, transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try it out, in order to discover more locations more populous than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and hurry away towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay! <laughs> Take my breath away a bit, this one's reading. Do not worry, I too travel a lot for the different zones of the world. We will notably meet one another eventually, without a doubt. Ah, by the by, take this. This object of a curious name will be the key that permits you to enter zone 1. Have I clarified that you can at any time consult your inventory and curiosities? By pressing the S key, S escape key, remember? The Leo card. Return to nothing then, son. What was that bloody noise? Whoa, this is a bit interesting. Zone 1, zone 2. Ah. So it's essentially a fancy warp function. Zone zero, zone two. And there is, in fact, whispering in the background. The room. Oh, 
playing some kind of shaft anime. Uh, may I know who you are? Are you an inspector? No, I'm better. I've come to exterminate the impure spirits. The batter. The impure spirits. Are you some sort of prophet? Or perhaps a man of belief? Yeah, something like that. I... Who sent you? Nobody. I'm being led by Manly. That's meta as hell. Ah, I don't know him. He must be a member of the superior personnel. In any case, that's good. It means our requests have been acknowledged. Here, I'm going to explain your task. Um, you're at the smoke mines of Damien, the summer part of Zone 1. Here, we sent workers into deep tunnels on Earth metal from the ground, freeing embedded smoke that was trapped in the depths. Thanks to a variety of tools, we're able to put some of it into bottles, which the Queen sends to the other zones. So is this version... is this their version of cigarettes or something? Hmm... Apparently they've smoked to live. The rest of it flows free, forming the air that our lungs inhale and exhale, uh, so we can live. As the first of four elements, it's an important element. So I'm like, I go to different zones, like the smoke zone, and then it'll be the next one will be some other kind of odd choice, like maybe, uh... The ice cream zone. Because without smoke, people would have nothing to breathe. Ah, uh, there we are. And so... Finally, uh... How do I put this? Where are the impiers? Ah, uh, yes, there we go. There are many specters in the mines. They're becoming more and more aggressive. But, uh, in fact, it would be better if you didn't enter the mines, because... Because the regulations forbid visitors to access them. So, uh, here's what we're going to do. There's an annex tunnel that nobody ever goes to. But a miner went in there some time ago. And he saw something strange, he said. Nothing like the usual. So I thought, maybe it's the Chief of the Spectres. Uh, so, there's your task. If you accept, you'll go into the Annex Tunnel and kill the Chief of the Spectres. Then the Spectres will disappear and we can work properly again. There we go. There we, uh... Do you have any questions? No. Ah, great. Impeccable. The tunnel's right down there. I'll wait here. I can tell this is the type of game that's gonna kill my throat by the end of it. Oh boy, more luck tickets. Are these guys symbolic of wage slaves or something? Because they all have that kind of gray, depressed look. And this guy mentions here, let's see. He's, this guy's anxious for the day he gets promoted. 
and they feed off of smoke, which could be symbolic for, like, how all these people just, you know, smoke cigarettes out back. I don't know. Shot in the dark. Oh, hello, my cat friend. Well, well, who do we have here? Is it not manly in this picturesque jumping jack the batter? Are you the Spectre's leader? <laughs> no, no, certainly not. I am only passing through, not unlike the smoke which is being extracted from this pale and metallic place. However, I believe I know where the one you are taking for an ectoplasm can be found. And tell the truth, I am perplexed to think it is one of these peculiar objects called a spherical add-on. I have very well tried to crouch it, but the operation has failed systematically so far. But I'm thinking, maybe you, one who does not have a physical sense of order, will succeed in affiliating the spiritual entity to yours. Speaking of shaft anime, you're not going to turn out to be QB, are you? An exceptionally intriguing phenomena. I must admit that I remain perplexed by this unexpected metaphysical reaction. Fair enough. So I decided to accompany you, I know only to advise you to make the best usage possible of it. Got it. The Chief of the Spectres is, is in here. Sorry, but I feel I have to respond to the negative. Apart from this add-on, I have not crossed the way of a single soul in this loo. This is odd. Audacious symbol. So he's a party member? My party member is in fact a circle. That's interesting. Very nice soundtrack so far. Ah, you're back. So have you killed the uh, chief of the specters? No. He wasn't there. Oh. Oh, really? I... bugger. Crap. I, uh... Well, then, uh... I believe that I'll have to let you enter the main gorges, then. But, um... The regulations oppose it. Alright, uh... I... I suppose this is a very special case, as stated in paragraph 5. So, uh... Good well. Main... Mine's on the right. There. This is... saved in a while. Show yourselves, corrupted children. I am the voice of forgiveness that eliminate your calamitous forms. Oh, I think this is one too many. Prepare yourselves to suffer my judgment. Pretty kick ass soundtrack.
Bro. Mm. I suppose it's like Final Fantasy then, where the front rows take more damage but do more? This last one's a little bit terrible. Ooh. Hmm. This add-on is fighting by my side. That's practical. Let's purify the other galleries. That's a safe point. Lyle's meat. Cares on negative. I have a feeling, like, if you don't read the description of these items, you have no idea what they're gonna do to you. Like, you would actually think, like, if you read Lyle's meat or Silver Flesh, you'd think these have to do with health, because they're kind of meaty. But no, the luck tick gets your health. These other ones are like other things. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, that hurt. Attack of low impact. Assuming quite a few luck tickets. Seems like they drop quite often though, so I'm not too worried about. <sighs> uh, uh, what? Did you come for 
the smoke mines. Yeah. But, but, but there are loads of specters down there. Yes? Are you a specter? No? Then who are you? Have you been sent by the Queen? Or by Dadan? No. But, 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 you still know how to fight the specters. You, you could destroy them. Yes. No, oh, that, that'd be great. We, we have, uh, specters in our big barns. Barns? Uh, um, yes. Uh. So this is the next element? So the smoke mines, the metal farms. Uh, I see what they're doing here. Um, you're at the metal farmsteads of Pentel. The eastern part of Zone 1. Our work consists of cutting livestock in two and extracting the metallic boulders that were contained in the cavern of ours. Cadavers. Cadavers. All the poor quality metal is discarded. From the ground we walk on, the rest gets purified to make tools and other objects with. Some of it is also put in the crates and sent to the other zones. So they have tools and soil as well, I suppose. That's first of four elements. It's an important element. Because without metal, people would have nothing to walk on. They would sink and drown. There. And thus we have the specters and large bards. I must purify the mines first. Ah, uh, yes. But the barns aren't that big, and, uh, it'd be nice of you to take care of them fast, because the Queen's Inspector is gonna arrive at any moment. So, can you please take care of the barns first? Uh. Alright. Ah, uh, great. Thanks. Thanks a lot. The barns are directly to the right. They aren't big at all. You'll, you'll see. It's gonna be done quickly. And I will get there and find out that the barns are actually half the size of the world. This kind of reminds me of Mario Land. Like those little kind of oh I guess it's ocean. I thought those were like swirly waves. No. Can I down the specters? Oh uh, hello. You are quite bigger than the last ones we fought. But you died just as... wait a minute. You split into dialogue bubbles. Damn, his classical talking is too strong. Hey, These talking bubbles are overwhelming me. I 
they're giving me chronic migraines. Which are probably some deep symbolism for what's actually happening. Especially when, since how the image in the background looks like a brain. Based on how the enemies attack, I'm actually starting to suspect it has something to do with the brain. Like, you know, perhaps this is all in my mind. Maybe it's that VR thing I mentioned. I don't know. Two specters left. I suspect the last one's gonna be stronger than the others. That hurt. Because why would they have the last Spectre on another level? Unless he's somehow unique compared to the others. Leave my cows alone, you bastards. No, he's in fact just completely normal. I'll be disappointed. I'm... I'm... I'm really... Marion. No, I... yes. Has he been in there for long? I... I, I don't know. Of course, you know nothing. I could have guessed. He... he will eliminate the specters. And why does he think he's capable of destroying those stupid phantoms? He thinks he's better than you, better than the Queen. No, no, I don't think that. Shut it! I haven't asked you anything. You all think you're smarter than everyone else, but you're all the same. In any case, that's hardly important. Those ghosts will raise that prig. I, uh, y you think he won't succeed? Of course not! Nobody's here capable of fighting the phantoms, other than the Queen's officers. If you only listened to me more often, you would be in so much shit. But, but then who, who's gonna destroy the phantoms? I could have done it. But you don't deserve it. Too bad for you. You'll just have to take care of your problems yourself. I, I, I no, please. I'll be leaving now. I'll be returning to Alma. At least the people there are polite. They aren't constantly cutting you off. Please, don't. Goodbye. Piss off! Don't. Uh, no, I... I command you! Get the fuck out of my way this instant! If you want to keep your job! It's nice teeth you got there, bro. See you later. Oh, that's he, brother, brother. I've just finished my job. Who was that guy? You, you're alive. Yes. Yeah. And the specters? Eradicated. The barn is pure now. That, you, you must be very lucky. Who was that person? That was, Dadan. He's the Queen's supervisor. 
You mean, Spectre? No, the Queen doesn't employ Spectres. He can't be one. But he's hostile. I must destroy him. No, 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 don't, don't do that. He's an envoy of the Queen. I, uh, you'd better go complete your work in the smoke mines. But please. Besides, he's in Alma. No one can get there without proper authorization. So, please, return to the smoke mines. Alright. Ooh, that voice hurt my throat earlier. This is opened up. At least they're not wasting the meat. Damien Elson. Some kind of darkness encircling me. Can't. Oh. And these are the the Moe ghosts. I'm supposed to use this or save it, but whatever. I find funny the main the batter has had the most support oh hello there. That's what I was saying though, I find it funny the batter so far has nothing but support skills. Scorpio. When you expect, by having a bat, that he would, you know, be the stronger one, but apparently it's not. I always keep my health topped off in these type of games. So was that all the specters in this place? Let's go out and see if we're... Suddenly accosted by some weird guy with big teeth. I'll just take your meat so you starve. Everyone's happy that way. all these lamps. T 
two luck tickets. It must be my lucky day. Oh, crap. He would have so many choices of where to go. Basically, the ten item for Final Fantasy. <laughs> Some kind of duck man? <laughs> I love that show. Oh no, actually, he's a representation of the Call of Duty audience. Because everyone who plays Call of Duty actually grows a duck bill afterwards. <laughs> and they also sell you stuff, you know, to pay for their Call of Duty games. <laughs> what are you buying? Fight, maybe? What? Huh? Where did you come from? From the smoke mines. But how? What? But but that's impossible. A single lamp works there. You you can't have. Faith guides my steps. F Faith. My mission is to purify the mines. But it seems that the phantoms here are particularly numerous. The, the specters. Where am I? Uh, uh. Now we're gonna go for the long explanation of what this part of the world is. I feel like a Metal Gear game before every boss fight. Plastic. So let's see. Smoke, metal from cows, and plastic. So they need the smoke to live. They need the cows for the metal to make the land, and they do in fact eat the meat afterwards. Now what do they need the plastics for? Maybe they just need them for plastics. Apparently they use them for everything. Another key thing is they all say the first of four elements to each one of these things. So perhaps each worker thinks, my element's important, my job is more important. <sighs> you 
Yes, I'm purifying this zone. The, the specters I know, they came from... They all came from the Postal Service. The Postal Service? That's where we send out the packages forms. The problem is that, uh, nobody can remember which floor it's found on. Go to the basement then. Oh, I see. Do I really? Am I have to like go for a million floors? definitely tell my, uh, kind of this all symbolism for the kind of workforce thing is probably right. I wouldn't be surprised if we did find out the Queen of the Spectres is that guy we saw earlier. Like, let's see, what happens if I just put in 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, oopsie, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 2. I'd hate to find out later that there was some kind of secret in between all these floors and she ended up skipping naturally. Like, if you only put in 0 0.002556, you would have reached the super secret floor. I, I always expect that to be at some point. Probably a clue that's gonna point me to the right floor. Zounds! You again! You are decidedly everywhere. One can believe that you are following me. <laughs> Nonetheless, your steps have not deceived you, for you are here in lieu that can suddenly use second blows from your holy bat. Perhaps you are already aware of this, but it appears that the story housing the Postal Service is overrun by ectoplasm. It'd probably be wise to find a story with the intangible creatures post-haste in order to dispatch them. But it could it be the task is too difficult for your narrow mind. In that case, I may be able to provide you with some advice. Oh man, if this gives me some kind of bad end... I'll be pretty frustrated. Open widely your ears and listen, for I will not repeat this twice, not even in the midst of the most pathetic supplication. In one of the four rooms on the ground floor, all the employees seem to be trained to a particular set of instructions. Additionally, if there was a choice to be made, I'd prefer the lower case over the upper case. That is all. I want to get off elevator, postal office, wild ride. It never ends. Ride never ends. No one. And yes, as you wonder how I actually got here, I did in fact have to look up how to get to this bloody floor. You do not want to know how long I've been walking in this hell listening to this music. It is not something I want to experience again. I'm the batter. Where are the phantoms? I'm... I'm very afraid. Help me!
My god, he's some kind of weird... I'm not gonna see Slender Man. He's some kind of dude! And he died instantly. Maybe... Maybe his suit has taken control of his brain. Strange. Something strange is written on this form. First version. They are six feet under, wrapped in hot metal liquid plastic. Puzzle, honestly. gone from some kind of employee hell to some kind of purple box hell. It's just like... A purple box hell with Carol or spiky alien chihuahuas. So assuming, I'm assuming everyone must be purged, like the heretics you are. The slot is affected with chaos. Miserable morons! Piss off! This is my zone! You ain't got the right to be here! Get out of my sight, you phantom piece of shit! You! It's you! You're the source of all my troubles! 
the ectoplasmic lord who's been eyeing my beloved zone. What do you want? Why have you decided to be a pain in the ass? I've dedicated my whole life to this place. You've got no right to rid of your damn ghosts. Shove off! You're mistaken. I'm not a phantom. I'm a purifier. They call me the better. I've come to purge the world of these echo plasmic beings. How dare you respond? How dare you imagine that I just put up with this shit? Listen good. I'll make it simple. Get out of here and take your goddamn specters with you or I'm gonna kill you. I hope that's clear enough for you. If I see you again, you're dead. I must go back to my home lad now. Well, that's it for the first part of off. <laughs> what do we even counter is certainly something. Uh, it's... I'm, I'm really suspecting my theory that this has to do with your brain or something. Perhaps. Because this area is definitely symbolism for like the workers, like I said. Oh no, I'm still pretty confused, still pretty early in the game, we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for part two of Off. Oh, and if you notice, if you've been watching my other stuff, that I have tried to mix up voices a bit, and sometimes they don't necessarily work out or none, and I kind of change them on the fly a bit as I adjust, so bear with me. Anyway. <laughs>